basically it's going to be a tear down to the main board here got somebody out there in YouTube land who is uh, having overheating problems and um, thinks that there might not be enough heat sink compound on the on some of the chips inside so I'm going to tear this down from this point all the way down to the main board we'll see how that goes so right here we go just start by of course taking off the top as usual and then you take out the blu-ray troublesome piece of turd set that off to the side remove that ribbon for that and then we take now before I proceed I'd like to note something here there's this antenna this is the Wi-Fi antenna right this is the board with the Bluetooth antenna which is right here and then there's a cable from the power supply going in that's not the main rails for the power supply you'll see those in a minute but okay now that I've got that pointed out you just take that small cable out carefully remove the antenna for the Wi-Fi from the Bluetooth board here there's another connector that you release there and now you can take off the you can take the power supply off and everything without having to break these little tape seals if you don't want to you just take the screw for the Wi-Fi antenna in the back these are all the same fine machine screws that go into metal so there shouldn't be any problem mixing and matching them there's your Wi-Fi antenna then you got a screw right here and another screw right by where the AC comes in I've got this thing plugged in just because it, it grounds it it's not it the power strip is not even live so I'm not gonna shock myself or anything I just like to keep it plugged in so I don't zap it from the static electricity and then you got let me get it in frame here you got three screws one here one here and one here this will release the power supply and again there are those little I'd say about six millimeter fine machine screws they should all be the same but if you encounter one that's got a different length on it just make a note of where it went Disconnecting the mains from the power supply will actually help you get these two back screws out. And also having a magnetic screwdriver will immensely help you. But I don't have a magnet to magnetize this. So I'll just suck it up. They all the same in mine. So, okay, once those five screws are out, 
you just lift and you'll see where the where the main most of the voltage most of the current for this thing goes <laughs> that's the main 12 volt rail you'll see two big prongs there where it went and just set that thing aside you'll see here that this cable and the Wi-Fi antenna they're just hanging there so I'll just set that aside and then you can take off the Bluetooth board Oops. it's got those same six millimeter long screws that hold the power supply together so don't be afraid to mix and match of those Bluetooth board just comes out like that you'll see on here there's Bluetooth radio and there's Wi-Fi radio put that thing aside And now just disconnect this cable in the front. This is on the 40 gig PS3 with uh, no SD card slots, by the way. <laughs> 